As of messing around with the My Player Builder on NBA 2K22 Next Gen, I think I really actually found the build that I'm going to be end up using. One of the two builds that I'm going to end up using. But the first build is going to be my John ja Morant build. So today we're going to end up creating my John ja Morant build on NBA 2K22 Next Gen. If y'all don't know about NBA 2K21 Next Gen, I did have a crazy John ja Morant build. Hopefully I can make it, but make it more realistic of what I had it from last year. Because last year I had almost everything on this build. So when we create this build, we're going to try to make it as realistic as possible, especially with the heights. So as John ja Morant being 6'3", we're going to do 6'3", 177 pounds. And then we're going to go with a 6'8 wingspan. Some of you guys might say go shorter wingspan. I'm going to go a little longer wingspan. I will prefer longer wingspan on this player because I know defense on next gen is a very big key, especially with the steals. I know with the actual contest, this build is going to be somewhat of a slashing shot creator type build. It's going to be a slashing playmaker slashing shot creator it's going to be between one of those the key of this i'm going to try to get as most as finishing that i need the most shooting that i can, can get possible but keeping it as realistic as possible i'm going to end up somewhat trying to get 23 maybe 22 potential badge points but i'm going to end up maxing off the driving duck i'm going to have an 80 driving layup and i'm going to put my close shot up because when you end up raising your mid-range it raises your close shot if you don't know that anytime you raise certain things it raises another thing so it can keep the game somewhat balanced so as me having 21 potential badge points for finishing i'm already liking what i'm seeing but when it comes to the shooting i'm going to have more shooting than what i would have on finishing even though john morant would somewhat have more finishing than shooting but for this game, I'm going to end up having more shooting with a decent amount. I'm going to have a 84 three-pointer. With an 84 three-pointer, we get shot credit takeover. But if I go 86 three-pointer, I get sharp takeover. So if anybody's going to make this and you want sharp takeover, I would prefer you to make it an 86 if you don't care about the name and none of that. 86 three-pointer. And then if you want the mid-range, the mid-range will be an 88 or an 89 based if you want it higher or not. So as I'm over here looking at this, I have 21, 28, but with the playmaking, this is one crucial key as well. I'm not gonna go with the 90 ball control. I'm gonna go down one, cause I'm already gonna have pro dribble moves since it's 80, but when you unlock certain things in the next up cups and season, you're gonna have 85 ball control dribble moves. So I don't got enough. So I got 21, 28, 33. I ain't looking gap to you. I'm liking it. Liking it. But as it comes to defense, I already maxed the defense to that 86 perimeter. And then when I got an 80 steal, so I'm going to be able to steal the ball. Like, the steals on this game is crazy. Like, steals is really crazy. So if you don't got a steal this year, you're not going to steal the ball. So you better put your steal up. And then when it comes to my actual physicals, I'm going to raise my physicals to somewhat of an average range of a 90 or 88. So I got it like an 88, 87, but if I got a 75 or 80 vertical, so I'm gonna make sure I'm at 80. But for my actual stamina, stamina is a big key this year. So my stamina, I'm gonna keep my stamina high. I ain't gonna mess with nothing else. I'm gonna keep my stamina high, but with the badge count, 21, 28, 33, and 17 potential badge points. I'm liking it so far. But I think the last thing I'll maybe put up is free throw, cause that, that, that would give me the 99. Free throw would give me to 99. And this build already is definitely a John Morant type build. I mean, you're really telling me that you're going to end up still letting me become a demigod, basically. I'm a smaller demigod, but I'm not 6'5 or 6'6. Six, six. I'm 6'3 six, now. But basically, I can. it's more realistic. I'm somewhat a demigod still. But I can say with the new bad system they got with actually having to upgrade badges every seven to get Hall of Fame or every six to get Hall of Fame. I can understand how that nerfed the game a little with the badge point. I can understand that. But when it comes to these takeovers, as I said, I'm only going to have shot critter takeover because I have an 84 three-pointer. If I go to 86, I will have sharp shooting takeover. So look, I'm going to end up doing slashing. Yeah, I'm going to do slashing takeover primary because it's John Morant. And I'm going to do shot creator ankle breaking shot. I'm not going to lie to you. I can say NBA 2K22 next gen, my player build. It's way polished compared to what it was last year. The, it's more polished, it's more somewhat constructed better, and that's what I actually like. Compared to NBA 2K21 current gen, it is a way better build. It is definitely a way better build. I can say the 22 next gen builder is better than 2K22 current gen builder because I'm tired of using pie charts. Pie charts, it, 
I'm not, I'm more restricted with pie charts than I am being over here. Cause I'm able to make the build more realistic and more able to do the b abilities that it should be able to do. But as me over here looking at all the badges, I noticed this build also can get locked on takeover. And that will come in handy as well. So if you're somebody that wants to have slashing and lockdown takeover in this build, or even shot critter and lock takeover on this build, it will be crazy. But as I have the name two way threat, I get the Aaron Fox, John Morant. But when you change minor things, you can get it to change of Damian Lillard. That's one cool thing I can say. Only thing you ought to do is maybe raise your three pointer up to 86 to get the name Damian Lillard on the build. And you will have the Damian Lillard or John Morant and De'Aaron Fox type build. But when it comes to the badges, these finishing badges right here, I like how they had it set up. Even though I only have 21 badge points, I got to distribute this the right way. As I'm going to get Slithery, Posterizer. I'm going to go maybe with some Acrobat on Bronze, maybe. Then we got Lilith's Takeoff on Hall of Fame. And then you got maybe a few badge points left over. You can do Unstrippable or you can do Fearless Finisher on Silver. But as of counting the badges, I have enough badges to get the badges that I want. It might not be at the type of badge level that I want, but I have all the badges that I actually want for slashing on this build. So when it comes to this, I can say with the one extra badge left over and you got it on bronze, I'm gonna go with a scrippable bull on bronze. That seemed like the smartest thing to do, or I will go with the acrobat. But shooting badges, I have 28 shooting badge points. So after having 28 shooting badge points and most of my shooting is gold, this is gonna come very in handy. I'm gonna have blinders on gold with green machine on silver, dead eye on silver, stop and pop on silver. I'm gonna run gold hot zone, gold mix match, hall of fame sniper, like all these badges are looking A1 perfect. These are all the badges that you're gonna end up meeting. It might be at not at the level like I said, but it's all the badges that you're gonna want. As I put ankle breaker on, I might not even use that. It's, it might be unnecessary this year because I haven't seen nobody really break ankle for unless they had takeover. We're gonna have bullet passer on gold, quick chain on gold. We're gonna go bell out on bronze, unpluckable on gold, quick first up on gold, handles for days on gold. And now I'm left over with eight. So I'm end up maybe messing with tight handles. I could do tight handles. I had test that out for y'all boys this year. But we're gonna run this hyperdrive. Hyperdrive, I still gotta test the badge. But once we actually know what hyperdrive is helping you, it, it say it's gonna help the speed of your dribble moves and stuff like that. But until we actually see it, then I end up putting it on my build. But with me being left with at least eight badge points, now I can spread it out. All around the whole board i could put dimer on i put glued hands on silver and then i could throw hyperdrive on if i want to but it'd be something on i maybe do it on silver 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 hyperdrive we had test that out but when it comes to defensive badges we can do minutes on silver or gold clamps on silver or gold and then we might end up rocking that hustler on silver a lot of people must sleep on that badge hustler on silver is going to be a most slept on badge this year but look as i'm gonna knock down this minutes to silver I may end up being able to put pickpocket on silver as well. So I'm gonna only have one gold badge and the rest is gonna be silver. But if you guys are messing with this build, make sure you drop a like on this video. Also subscribe if you haven't yet, put on those post notifications, click that bell, hit all. But it been your man Shamama. Hope y'all boys have a wonderful day and I'm out y'all.